The most basic way to add data to Avant Grid is to wrap a standard HTML table element. So let's take a look at how we can do that. In our source code here, you can see that we have just a plain HTML table with a T head and a T body. In order for us to use Vaden Grid, we first need to install that. The way we do that is by using Bower. When we're installing this through Bower, it will fetch all the dependencies for us and put them in the Bower components folder. You can see that we have Polymer, which is uh, the base for Vaden Grid. We have Vaden Grid itself. And uh, finally, we have a web components polyfill that will allow us to use uh, web components in browsers that don't natively support them. So in order for us to actually use this in our web page, we first need to include those two things in our web page. So first we include the polyfill and then we include the Vaden Grid element itself. Once we have those two things, we can go ahead and wrap our table in the Vaden Grid. So we just write Vaden Grid and uh, we just enclose the table element with the Vaden Grid element. Now, if we refresh our browser right now, you'll notice that we don't actually have any content. The reason for that is that Vaden Grid actually requires you to define how many columns you have. The way we do this is by defining a call group. And in our case, we can just define four empty columns. Once we have this in place, we can go ahead and refresh our browser. And you can see that Vaden Grid has now loaded and shows the same data that we have before in our table.